Hi Waterline friends, how are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing very good. Hope you're having a good week at home. Hope you're all healthy. Hope you're having fun, staying active as much as you can. Last time you saw me, I made an obstacle course in my basement. I hope you guys did yours and I hope you had a lot of fun. Going along with that theme today, um, I am gonna help you make a really fun craft. We're gonna make a maze and we're gonna have like a marble maze. It's gonna be inside of a box. So it's gonna be really cool. So what I have and what I'll need you to get is stuff that's in your house already. Um, make sure before you grab anything like a cereal box, which is what we're gonna start out of, make sure there's no cereal in it. And make sure you ask your parents before you use anything that we use in the video, okay? Perfect. Okay, so you're gonna need a cereal box, some construction paper, so we've got scissors. Make sure you ask your parents, even if you're like 14, 15, ask your parents, I asked mine before I used these like dangerous stuff. Make sure they know you're using them when you have them or they're helping you if you need it. We've got lots of tape, electrical tape, packing tape, some glue, you can use regular glue, hot glue, all that. Make sure you ask your parents. I have an extra cereal box just in case. Paper towel roll, you can use toilet paper rolls too. I know we've got a lot at home probably. And I have three pieces like this, marble. So that's gonna be our setup today, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the top of the box like this and I'm gonna look about not all the way to halfway, but about a quarter of the way down. So halfway between the top and the halfway point of the box. And then I'm gonna cut that off all the way around the entire box, okay? All right. And then, now we'll have two pieces like this. And I want you to fold it in like that, so it's still gonna have the sides on it. And then you're just gonna take some tape and you're gonna make these into the trays, okay? So let's take some tape. Use the electrical tape for this because it's a little smaller. And we're just gonna make it into our two little trays. So I'm folding all the sides up and then taping them together. two trays. We've got this tray and this tray. So what I'm going to need to do now, we're going to take the bigger of the two trays and we're going to set it aside. And this is the tray that we're going to make our maze on, okay? Perfect. So now that we have our top tray right here, you can work on making your maze. This part is pretty much up to you how you want your maze to look. So I'll show you me making mine, but you can make yours look however you want it to look, okay? So I'm going to make the walls of my maze using construction paper. So to take construction paper, I've got some black and some white paper. I'm gonna cut some strips that are gonna be about maybe two inches long, okay? So I've got some strips of construction paper. I've got my box. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build walls that we've gotta maneuver the marble around, okay? So I'm gonna take the construction paper. I'm gonna see how long I want it. So this is a little long, so I'm gonna cut it in half and make some shorter walls. And then the way that I'm gonna make these walls is they're gonna fold in half the piece of paper like this and then you're gonna take the two flaps at the bottom and you're gonna fold them upwards, just part of it, not the whole way. And so then, once you have these folded like this, they're gonna be a shape kind of like this, like a V with two little wings. And those wings are what you're gonna use to tape to your box, and that will make the walls. So perfect, okay, so I got that. So the first thing I'm gonna try to do is I want to make a longer wall that's gonna start me up here so I can have the marble starting somewhere, okay? So I'm gonna take some of my tape and I'm gonna tape it down. Awesome. And then if it helps, if your thing doesn't stick as much, you can use some of the glue. I've got some of this clear glue, but you can use whatever glue you like. So in that case, I can pull this up right here and I'll put a little bit of glue on the bottom of it like that. And then I'll pinch it together and I'll push it down is you can keep repeating that step and you can make as many of these walls as you like and put them all around your board. Um, I'm gonna add a tunnel, I think. I'm gonna use this piece of cardboard to make a tunnel at some point. Um, maybe I'll start right here and I'll put it right here. I like that. This is looking really cool. I hope you guys are having fun and that yours is looking great too. So now the marble comes here and it's gonna go down through that tube. That's gonna be really cool. I'm excited about that. 
All right, okay. So I'm gonna keep making mine. Um, one more step that you can add, um, since this is my, first, my start point here, we gotta have an end point, right? So we're gonna make a hole in the bottom of the box, somewhere over here or over here, and that's gonna be where your marble finishes. So you're gonna try to get from here to your finish point. So I'm gonna start and make that finish point now. We've got our little finishing hole. See that right there? Perfect. All right. And so something you can do with that, if you wanna make your game a little more challenging than it would be just getting it through the maze, you can add other holes throughout the maze and that you have to try to avoid. Okay, friends, my maze is done. This is the maze that I made. So look at this. So this is where we're gonna start. If you wanna practice while you're making your maze, you can have your marble ready and you can practice it while you're going. All right, so this piece is my maze. And so what, the way I have it is that the marble's gonna come here, it come here, it's gonna go down through the tunnel, then it's gonna go over here and up and around, down here, and then this is where it gets tricky. I brought it up here and right here in the middle, I don't know if you can see it, I put a hole there. And so this hole is not the finish line, that hole is just another obstacle so you have to avoid it. So I gotta get the marble to come up and around, then it comes down here, and then you've got two options. You can take the hard way, but it could be quicker, and the marble can go down here, and there's another hole right there that could catch your marble. It's gonna go down there, around, up, and then down to the finish line right there. Get that hole right there. This is the finish hole. And then, or, it can come around here and it can go zigzag around here into the hole. Which is, next step after this, we gotta finish our box and then we'll be all done. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the rest of your box that you had that you cut that off of, and I want you to cut a hole in the bottom like that. So the way that's gonna happen is that this maze is gonna sit inside of the box like this, and then once, the once your marble goes through one of the, the holes that are like accidents or it goes through the finish line, it's gonna come out and it'll fall through the bottom hole right here. Something that I'm doing that you don't necessarily have to do, um, I'm adding handles to it using that tube that I had earlier. So I've already secured this one and I'm gonna show you how I did this one. So the way you do it is you take your tube like this and I want you just to cut it out like this. So you're gonna cut all these little cuts along here so that it fans out like that. You have all these little pieces. Um, the way that I attached it is I folded it out like that and then I took a little piece of tape and I put it on every single little fan like that, okay? And then you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna put a little bit of glue on every single part like that. And then just as easy as that, you're gonna take it, you're gonna squish it against this and you're gonna press down and make sure every single little piece of the tube is secured to your box. All right, so the very last step, we've got our box with the handles and then we've got our maze. You're gonna take your maze and you're gonna slide it in on top. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of tape and I'm gonna tape it around to connect it. All right, right there, that is my finished marble obstacle course slash maze, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna show you me doing it and then I'm gonna have you guys show me what you can make. All right, so here's my marble. I'm gonna put it right here at the starting point. I'm gonna bring it down, I'm gonna bring it through the tunnel, bring it back up, over, down here, over. All right, now this is the hard part. You see that hole there? I gotta try to avoid it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take the other hard part, get around that hole there, bring it up, over, and down to the finish line. Can I do it? I did it. All right, then it comes out here, and I'm all done. All right, so I want you guys to get your parents to help you if you need help. Make sure you ask permission before you make anything, and then when you're done, have your parents post your pictures or your videos of your finished maze in the comments, and I'm excited to see it. All right, you guys have a fun day, okay?